Area 51 is shrouded in mystery. Although the base has been a talking point for years, featured in movies and visited by countless people, its secrets are still well hidden. Interestingly, although Area 51 is known for UFOs, aliens and reverse engineering alleged alien crafts, not many UFOs or strange events are reported from this location. But every so often someone will come forward with interesting photographs that allegedly show unidentified flying objects. When a UFO is captured, it usually gets a lot of attention from those interested in the topic. But when a UFO is sighted at a place like Area 51, it gets even more attention. This is because of the history of the base, and the alleged stories of UFOs being housed there. These recent photographs allegedly show a UFO at Area 51. The craft is disc-shaped, and can be seen slowly hovering above the nearby hill. When these photographs started to make the rounds on social media, people got excited, and soon started to speculate about what the object was. There were those that said it was a genuine, unidentified flying object, while others said it might have been some type of new technology from the base itself. One person said the following, I saw a craft similar to this hovering above Nevada. After seeing these photographs, it makes me wonder whether it was the same craft. Not much information can be gathered about this photograph, but those that have visited Area 51 have said it's rare to see these types of objects. Another person came forward and said the following, This is a really great capture, and rare as you don't usually see UFOs at the base itself. Going back several decades ago, you would be able to see all kinds of strange lights flying around the base at night, but you don't really see them anymore. I guess it's because a lot of people visit the base now, and they want to keep certain tech under control. Regardless, it's an interesting photo. Others, however, did suggest that the UFO was fake, and it seems too good to be true that a genuine UFO would be captured at a place like Area 51. Regardless, this hasn't stopped people from wanting to know the base's secrets. Some have also said that the UFOs that are seen here most likely belong to the military, and are new types of tech being tested. Others say that no UFO material is held at this base, and this perhaps comes down to the fact that this secret site is visited by many people a year. In fact, it's almost become a sort of tourist attraction, with thousands of people travelling here yearly in order to have their photographs taken with the various signs. Although it's been known for years, what actually goes on here is very much a secret. One of the reasons that people suspect something is going on here is due to all the surveillance around the base itself. It sits inside a dry lake bed inside the Nevada desert, and the closest you can legally get to it is 26 miles away on Tigaboo Peak. Tigaboo Peak is the place where UFO enthusiasts go to get a closer look at the famous Area 51. It sits high above the base and gives those who make it a great view of the base. It's noted as being a difficult trek. Those who want to climb it will have to trek over 1.2 miles, and although this doesn't sound like a lot, it's not the easiest trail. It's very steep and those must climb over a thousand feet in elevation before they reach Tigaboo Peak. Although the views at the top are breathtaking, and those that have climbed it have said it's well worth it, Others have said they're disappointed with how small Area 51 looks from the summit. After all, it's 26 miles away. Others have said though that something strange might happen when you reach the top. Two men who made the trek said that once they reached the top, they could see a blacked out helicopter quickly approaching them. One of them noted it was flying extremely low, and that when it got close it didn't pull away or gain height. It flew right over the top of them, leaving only a few meters. The men said the ordeal was quite frightening, and suspected that the helicopter had come from Area 51. When asked why they thought it flew over them so closely, they had this to say. Something tells me that this might have been a warning of sorts. After all, we did climb up there to see the views of Area 51. Others have told me that they can track what you're saying from this distance, 
and maybe there's a chance they sent out the helicopter to intimidate us. I have to say it worked. It was quite terrifying seeing this massive helicopter coming towards us at that speed, and that the fact it didn't pull back is something I won't forget. It's an incredible view when you make it to the top, but there is a possibility that a massive helicopter could charge you. This type of behaviour isn't uncommon either. Although Area 51 is a secret base, it's actually quite well known. This is because of various things that have come out about the base over the years. Although these make for fascinating stories, there's no solid evidence of them being true. One of the first things you'll notice when you're travelling close to the base is that it's marked with orange poles. These are mainly here to tell you that trespassing and photography isn't allowed. Guards can be seen around the perimeters of the base, and they immediately appear before you can even get close. Over the years they become known as the Camo Dudes. This is because of their clothing. They can be observed driving around in 4x4 cars and dealing with people who stray too close to the base. One interesting thing to note is that they're supposedly told not to look at the public. If you're caught by these guards, they have the right to take away any photographs or video footage you've taken. Sensors can be found littered across the perimeter of the base, and even the road that leads down to Area 51. The minute you start driving or walk on these sensors, the guards are alerted. This is why they're always there before you are. Area 51 has been a top secret base for years, and for a very long time it was shrouded in mystery. It's only been in recent years that we found little information about it. Satellite imaging of the base itself is believed to be edited and tampered with, and considering it's quite nearly impossible to get reliable footage of areas even surrounding the military base, the contents inside its safely protected border is still a mystery to the general public. The US military wasn't impressed with the claims that people were going to raid Area 51 a while back, and said there could be trouble if millions of people turned up, saying if this did happen they would handle it in the right way to protect America's security. Going on to say that even if this was done in a joking manner it would be handled as a threat. One question people had after the Area 51 meetup was what would happen if millions of people actually turned up? How would they control the masses? People who have looked into the base have said that if they wanted to, they could use deadly force. In fact, going back in 2017, the military opened fire on a man who was trying to break into a rural air force base in Suffolk, England. It's not the desired outcome, but officials have said they'll do what's needed to keep people under control. Not only this, but US law does forbid anyone from trespassing on military bases. Laws have been created that prohibits people from walking or entering military installations. The only way a civilian can do this legally is if they have permission from authorised personnel. It's also been brought up that if thousands of people do turn up at Area 51. Officials will not hold back and use the correct measures to deal with these people. It's said that people found trespassing on military bases can expect a heavy fine. Not only this, but this also comes with a minimum jail sentence of six months. One of the first things you see when you approach the base is the warning signs. These can be found all around Area 51 and they state that no trespassing is allowed, and that the use of deadly force is authorised. After everything got out of hand and went a little crazy, the man behind the Facebook page came forward and said that he was worried about what he's created. He said the page was originally set up as a joke, and that he had no idea it was going to get that big. He said he was surprised how quick it spread. Others have said though they're not surprised, and that many people would love to know what's going on inside the base. With one member saying the following, Over the years we've heard many strange stories about the base. Although this started off as a joke, I think that many people would actually be interested in knowing what's going on there. Because it's a secret, it's made our minds wonder even more. I think that at first many were here because of the memes, but I think this has now turned into something and the people now want answers. 
The original creator, however, was concerned about the consequences this would have. He expressed how he thought the FBI agents were going to turn up at his house, and that he's now under surveillance. After all, at that time he brought a massive amount of unwanted attention to one of the most secretive bases in the world. He said the following, Now that my identity is out there, I'm worried that people will start showing up at my door. As of right now, the mysterious base is still shrouded in mystery. Although all of this has come out, it's not revealed anything to the general public. Individuals who have also been researching the base have warned that past events could show us what would happen if a random person did turn up at the base. To start going back in 2016, a television crew filming for the BBC were immediately arrested at gunpoint, and this was for getting too close to Area 51. The crew was made up of 12 people, and each person was forced to lie down and be searched by their guards. Incredibly, they were told to lie on the ground for three hours, while the FBI did security checks on each of the individuals. They were eventually let go. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this mysterious photograph? And what do you think of the base itself? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.